case, we present a show of our own device. Shakespeare performed badly. Now the first step is the performer takes his hands and does nothing with them. He takes his voice and does nothing with it. And most importantly, whatever he does, he does not interact with the peasants. Uh, your pardon, my wife Queen Jane is trying to get me to work on my phrasing. I said peasants, I meant to say, of course, audience members. <laughs> Here we go. The king... Fibel Reichert? Yeah, The king shall now act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speak the speech, I pray thee, as I pronounce it to thee, tripping me on the tongue, but if you mouth it as many of our players do, I had as leave the town crier spoke by lines. Nor do not saw the air with your hands too much thus, but use all gently, for in the very torrent tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that give it smoothness. Your pardon, your pardon, a king is speaking! <laughs> this is fascinating! <laughs> Bible Riker, Yavo, have your sword standing by! Be not too tame neither, but let your own discretion be your time. Suit the words with the action, the action of the words with the special observance, that you overstep not the modesty of nature, for anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing whose end both at the first and now was and is to hold as it were a mirror of the nature, to show virtue her own features, scorn her own image, and the very ancient body of the time, his form and pressure. Now this overdone or come to Arnioffo and make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious green. It does not deserve applause. It was Shakespeare performed badly. <laughs> now, an interesting question. So we're not, we're not. How specifically? How was it performed badly? This is not a hypothetical question. You have already been given the answer. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> the clue is in the words themselves that I just spoke. They are Prince Hamlet's speech to the actors telling them how to act. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you. Trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it as many of our players do, I had his leaf the town crier spoke by lines. Nor do not saw the air with your hands too much thus. <laughs> it was all gently, for in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that give it smoothness. Be not too tame, neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the word to the action, the action to the word, with your special observance, that you overstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of play, whose end at the first and now was and is to hold, as it were, a mirror up to nature. <laughs> to show virtue, her own feature, scorn, her own image, and the very age and body of the time, his form and pressure. Now, this, overdone, or come tardy up, though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grief. And that you may applaud. wish to get your card stamped, my dear friend, the Duke of Norfolk would be delighted to, to do so for you. Enjoy.